Okay, so this is an effective resistance question from practice exam one. It's question one. Let's begin. Now we're told that we've got four resistors A, B, C, practice and D. Exam three. Sorry, practice exam three, Ethan. But it still remains question one. Is that correct? Right, right, right. A, B, C, and D, four resistors. We've got <coughs> A is in series with a parallel part B and C, which is in series with D. So I'm going to find out the total resistance of B and C. Now we're told that each of these has a resistance equal to R. We don't know a value, we're just going to call it R. So 1 over R B C is going to be 1 over R plus 1 over R. And what do we have there? That's equal to 2 lots of 1 over R, which is equal to 2 over R. But that's 1 over R B C. To find R B C, we just flip it. And we get R over two, correct? Now we can add that to get the total effective resistance. R over two plus R, which is across A, plus R, which is across D. So common denominator, we've got five lots of R divided by two, which is two point five uh, and that's your answer. Alrighty.